back to my channel. Today I have an exciting video, um, depending on how you view it. I want to introduce my new planner and I will kind of go into why I switched and stuff. But yeah, today I just want to film a flip through of this and let's just go ahead and get started. So this is a Filofax Holborn in the pocket ring size. This is, this is a ring planner. If you've been watching my videos for a little bit or um, you follow me on Instagram, I have been in Hobonichi Weeks for the last two years. And depending on when you found me, you might not know that I did start off in a rings planner when I first joined like the planner community. I started off in an A5 rings actually and then went down to personal wide rings and then kind of landed on the A6 rings and was in that for a while and then that is when I I think I was in that for a year or two maybe and then I switched into my Hobonichi Weeks. I have been kind of getting the itch to switch. Um, a lot of it probably has to do with a lot of uh, people on Instagram switching into rings at the moment. I have been kind of back and forth about the rings thing. Um, and I've been doing my best to just keep with what works for me. But I just really wanted to try it. It, it I, my, my planner, my Hobo Two Weeks, worked for me and it's still here i i want to keep it updated in the background i haven't decided if i'm going to be showing that like on like youtube or instagram or anything like that i might just keep it for myself but i plan on keeping that updated at least as of right now that is my plan but the weeks and this planner this pocket planner they are basically mirrors of each other they're the same I have, as far as the information goes, I have the same information and I'll kind of show that to you guys when I flip through it, but I kind of forgot where I started with this, but yeah, I just wanted, it just, the idea of switching to something else was exciting and I just wanted to switch. I just wanted to try it. I just felt that itch and I wanted to scratch it. I resisted the temptation for a little while and then just decided to go for it I since this is such a small planner I do take it with me more often and it's nice to be able to like throw in the bag and I thought well maybe I can this can just be like an on-the-go planner and my weeks can stay like my main planner that idea is still there but as of right now this is my main all-in-one planner and my weeks I am like I said going to I want to keep it updated and then possibly that will be what I archive and my inserts because that is something I don't like about rings I don't like the archiving thing I know there are ways to do it but it's just not my favorite it's not my favorite way to archive things and so I'm possibly thinking of throwing my inserts out but keeping my weeks because they will basically be the same information which is why I wanted the same information in this planner because in order to keep my weeks updated I kind of need I, I guess I don't have to fill out everything but I would like to so they are basically the same <laughs> just to preface that and yeah so I'm going to just go ahead and get started like I said at the beginning this is the Filofax Holborn, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, in, um, in black, the color black. And it is a pocket rings. The ring size on this planner is 15 millimeters. And I really wanted, I don't think I've ever had a rings, a rings planner with such, <laughs> if you can hear a noise, that's my, that's my dog. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a ring planner with such small rings. But I really wanted them to be small rings. If you follow me on Instagram, you will kind of know that I've been going back and forth before I decided to buy this. I was going back and forth with which 
planner I wanted to try, personal, I was thinking of personal rings or pocket rings. I wanted the ring size to be pretty small so that I could um, just keep it slim. I didn't want anything too chunky, at least not right now. So yeah, I think that is probably enough of my yapping. Um, probably try, probably time to open this up and flip through this planner. Actually, I might have to zoom you guys in one second. All right, so I zoomed you guys in a bit because this is such a small planner. Um, I thought it'd be better to zoom you guys in. So um, just starting off with the pockets here. Actually, let me really quickly kind of show you the configuration of this planner in case you're unfamiliar. Like I said, this is a Filofax. And funnily enough, I did my very first like rings planner coming into the community was a Filofax. I forget which model. I still have it. But um, as I said before, it was an A5 rings. Um, it was not this one. I don't even know if they offer this Hallborn in A5 rings, but it, I think it was a domino actually. So yeah, it's just kind of like, to me, kind of funny. I don't know if that's the right word, but that like I'm in, it's just weird, to, I guess, to be in a Filofax again. So anyway, um, the configuration. So there is a big back pocket, um, 15 millimeter rings. There is a pocket here and here. And then there are, is there is this big like kind of um, curved pocket down here. And then there are three like credit card sized uh, pockets up there. And then the back, um, the back here, I don't know why I said it like that. The back here has one big pocket here, and then it actually, okay, so it has a pen loop, which my pen does, I don't think it fits. I actually haven't even tried, but I just clip it on. Um, it has a pocket here, and I did not know this about this planner. It has a zipper pocket here. I feel like I have not ever seen anyone mention that. I don't know. I just haven't seen it, but it has a, hopefully I'm still in frame. It has a zipper pocket in here, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and I liked that it was uh, covered here because a lot of times with the zippers, um, when it's like exposed, it can damage certain parts of like your inserts or whatever you have on the outsides of your planner. So yeah, I thought that was very interesting and cool. And that is it here for the pockets, I think. So starting with these pockets. I do have a This Planner Belongs To card from Queen City Designs Co. I'm not gonna pull it out because it's custom and it has my info on it. Um, this is a Polaroid that I've been kind of carrying from planner to planner of um, when my fiance proposed to me. It was, this was like right after um, he proposed. And I have this clear card. I think it's called like a washi card. I don't remember exactly where I got it from, but I just keep some little sticky notes on this. I also typically carry this from planner to planner. These little sticky notes are from Lucy Plans Life. And then I have a gloomy card here. This was the one that was in the front of my Hobonichi weeks. I kept in that clear pocket but I moved it into this planner since this is, this is the one I'm currently using. And this is her, I think it's under her, oh, this is Petite Gloom in case I didn't say that. Also her re like real name is Megan Rhiannon, but her like online name for her shop and stuff is Petite Gloom. So I think this is like her notebook collection or something. I think there was like two, two or three like notebook collection ones. Um, this is, So this is just a piece of clear acetate on top here, but the underneath part, the paper, <laughs> the yearly overview. This is also from Petite Gloom. And actually, I had asked on Instagram not too long ago about freebies for year to glances. And um, someone had told me not in that question on Instagram, but I saw someone post that they had this. So I replied to their Instagram story. I believe her name is either Jess Plans or Jessie Plans. Sorry, I can't remember exactly. I'll um, look it up and while I'm editing, I'll put it on the screen. 
but um, she had this one somewhere in one of her planners. I think it, I think she had a personal rings, and I completely forgot that Megan Rhiannon like released inserts, and so this is um she only released personal size inserts though. So I I can't remember again. I'll look it up and I'll put it on the screen. But I printed this um, personal size insert just at a certain percentage so that it would be pocket size, and. I am on her Patreon, so this is technically like a freebie for me, um, but she does, I believe this is included in her inserts that she released in her shop as well, if you're not a part of her Patreon. And then flip that, and this is a piece of vellum that I laminated. The vellum is from, well, I bought the, the vellum on Amazon, but the printable is from Peanuts Planner Co., and it's just like a routine type card i believe and it's perfect for page flags i think that's the per i'm pretty sure that's the purpose of it and i just i i think in the description or something um she recommended or said something about printing it on vellum and laminating it so i just did that but you can print it on whatever you want and i just have my class schedule here using these I believe they're like post-it page flags. I got them from Amazon. And then I think this might be an Avery. Uh, actually, I don't remember. This is just some random like tab I had. I think it's either Avery or post-it. And I just wrote on all this stuff with a like Sharpie. And this Ola um, top what are they even called top like page markers or something like that this was actually I think a six size when I was in a six rings and I cut it down I cut it down a little too short because I forgot this is supposed to stick out so it it, it is a little short but that's okay um I believe this is from a shop that I don't think exists in the community anymore I think her name was Ola Dear Paper Dear Paper but I'm not entirely sure but I think that's that's what her name was. And yeah, so I just cut it and repunched it. And I just have, it's my inbox, part of my inbox. I just have my sticky notes here. And these printables are from Peanuts Planner Co. I love them. This little, I think they're called like starry sticky notes or something like that on her website. And I really, really like them. And I did have to, this is a regular size sticky note. I did have to cut the edges for it to fit. Um, so yeah. And then this is a principle from Peanuts Planner Co. I can't remember if this is one of her freebies or not. I don't think it is, but I'm not entirely sure. But I do know it's from Peanuts Planner Co. And if you are part of her Facebook group, she has freebies on there, which are really, really, really nice and generous. Um, but if not, she has a whole shop, which I, I love all of her principles. But yeah, these are from her. I just have, again, they're in boxes and I just have two sheets of that. And then these uh, dividers are actually, they actually came with the planner. And by the way, I did buy this planner on Amazon from a UK shop because it was much cheaper than going through Filofax's actual website to buy it. I think I got this for like, not including tax and stuff it was like listed i think at around like 76 and this planner again not with tax and stuff included on filofax's website is like i can't remember exactly i think it might be around like the 120 range so yeah i definitely worth it in my opinion but it did take a little bit to get to me so just so you know here I have another principle from Peanuts Planner Co. And it's a fold out. I don't know if I folded it incorrectly, but I like the way that <laughs> I folded it. So um, yeah, um, this is this starts my tracker section. So I'll put, I put all of my trackers and logs in this one section. And this one is actually like the only... I think info that I'm tracking that I wasn't tracking in my Hobonichi weeks, but I got a lot of inspo from Sleepy Notes Club and she has a little like tracker. I think she uses a sticky note though of when she uses her planner, when she like goes through her planner. Um, so that's what I'm using this one for. 
So as you can see, like I didn't touch my planner on the 24th. Today's the 27th. I, I have gone through my planner. I just didn't mark it. So I'll mark that later. But that, yeah, that's what I'm using this fold out for. And then this is my reoccurring tasks, which is also my adulting slash monthly um, like checklist in my Hobonichi Weeks. But this is from Wise Coffee Break. She recently, I think, opened her shop and I've been loving her inserts. By the way, if you hear noises in the background, those are my dogs. They are now playing. When I started filming, they were not playing, but now they are. So that is them. Um, so yeah, this is from Wise Coffee Break. I've been loving her inserts. And for pocket size, let me see, is it? Yeah, for pocket size, this goes horizontally. But I saw from Bite Size Plans on Instagram that she printed out um, some of, I think, this actually exact one from a, uh, a6 size. And she printed it at 80%, I believe, to get pocket size. So that's what I did. And I, because I really wanted it vertical, not horizontal. So I really like that. And this is my cycle tracker, also from Wise Coffee Break, that I printed on the back of that. This is my movement log. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. It is another fold out. So, yeah. And then this is my health log, also from Peanuts Planner Co. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. as well. This is my skincare slash hair care like, log type thing. How I had it in my weeks was more of a drawn out... Um... I don't know how to explain it. It was more, I, I'm not sure exactly how to explain it, but I saw this insert and I figured I could use it for it. So it still has all the sections. They're just like a little bit different, differently like placed. Um, so this column means that it's skincare. This column means that it's hair care. And then I have my start date, which this is a bit small and cramped. So that's not the most ideal part, but, and then my finish date, and then my, if it's AM or PM, mostly for skincare, um, but yeah, so the only part that I don't love is just that, how small, like, the dates are that I have to write, but other than that, I like this insert for this purpose, and I have the same insert, again, from Peanuts Planner Co., for my entertainment log, which was, if you remember, I was using um, the My 100 at the back of the Hobonichi Weeks for my internet entertainment log. So again, it has like the same sections, but it's just a different layout. So this, me, this is TV show. This is if it's a movie, podcast, book. And this last, last section here is a heart, meaning that if I watched it with my fiance, we don't really normally like read the same books or like podcasts or anything but yeah for tv shows and movies that's normally what i use that for and then this is my second section which is my monthlies and like kind of like yearly stuff so this is a yearly overview this also came with the filofax this filofax <laughs> and um so this is a year at a glance and then that's the back of it which this has last year and then next year this i don't know exactly what this is for Four, to be honest I haven't like really looked into this like paid attention to what this is and I think this could possibly be like time zones maybe or maybe I'm totally wrong I don't know but I put this in here for the back so the back is oops getting a little stuck here so the back is um like holidays and stuff like that so it has holidays and stuff for like all around the world but um it also has the usa ones too so yeah i just i put that in here for that purpose and then i have a future dates log from peanuts planner co that i used the exact same way that i used in my hobonichi weeks so i did a future dates log in that planner too and then this is um i believe from Lindsay scribbles shop uh, i think it's called the ghosting pen and yeah this is from her shop and i'm using it for birthdays so i'll just write the date here and then i'll write the name here these are freebies from peanuts planner co again from her facebook group i don't 
know what I'm using this front cover page for, but these are the monthlies. And I did cover up some areas, so that's what that is. And this is my blotting paper because I am using my fountain pen. And oh, by the way, I am using the Kakuyo business paper from Amazon. I heard that it was good for fountain pen, so that's why I bought it and that's what I'm using. This is the blotting paper and I put a little page flag on it just so I knew where it was like in my planner. So when it's closed and if I needed it, I knew exactly where it was where it was. Because otherwise without it before I put this on, I I didn't know where it was in my planner. I lost it. So um yeah, this is February, the current month. This is today, the 27th. And I have the whole year in here. So this is all blank. And I have the whole year. In the back here, these are from, again, Lindsay's shop, the ghosting pen. It, I hope that that name is correct. Um, if it's not, I will fix it on the screen. But I don't remember what she calls these, but I'm using them for my monthly highlights because I also had a spread like that in my Hobonichi weeks. So this left column here, I plan on using for stats. Um, like Instagram and YouTube and then here this bigger section I just want to use as memories or highlights of the month or anything like that so that's what I plan on using this for and I have all the way until December which is just two pages front and back but this third section here is for my weeklies so I do have the um wise coffee break weeklies these are undated and i really like these so far i did again i covered some stuff up but this is from petite gloom or megan rhiannon and yeah so this is this was last week i just this was the first week i was really in this planner that's when i started i had printed stuff out but i wasn't i hadn't moved in yet because i was waiting on the cover so this is the first week which was last week and then this is this current week this today marker also came with the planner so this is the current week and i just keep this in the current week so i don't lose it oh and then for my monthly i do use um these little clip the index clips that i was using in my hobonichi weeks i am using this for my current monthly so i believe i have just shy of three months in here i think um ideally i i would like the full three months or maybe even a little bit more but right now that's just what i have in here because that's what i that's what i printed i think i could fit more even though it's already pretty full for like a 15 millimeter, but um, I think I will eventually put more in here. It's just, this is just what I printed. So it's what I put in here. And then these are fold outs that um, I have from one of my classes for the semester because he has these online, but I like being able to check them whenever without having to like get on like a computer or something. So I printed the whole like, course schedule so I knew when the due dates were and stuff and I just um I scaled them pretty small and then I folded them here so I have that whole thing for that class and then I have some of these half pages which are from the ghosting pen again I just keep a few in here and then this fourth section here is my goal section so this is the same mood board except I did have to move around some of the photos but the photos are all the same they're just slightly maybe at a different spot because I had to change it a little bit from my Hobonichi weeks because the pocket size is obviously different so yeah I just put my mood board in here and then I wrote my yearly goals out here and this insert I believe it actually was a freebie from Wise Coffee Break so I just printed it on the back of my mood board which I made on Canva and I wrote out my yearly goals 
This is another foldout from Peanuts Planner Co. I'm not really using this for anything, but I am using this other part, which I'm using this for my quarterly and month my quarterly goals and my monthly actions, which if you know I I did have in my I did have in my Hobonichi weeks. I had my yearly goals, quarterly goals, and then my monthly actions. So right here, I just wanted to see if this would work. It's kind of a smaller space than I'm used to working with, but so far it seems to be okay. But this is my quarterly goals here because it breaks it down by each quarter. And then it has a little spot for each month. So I tried to like squeeze in there my monthly actions. So I'm just gonna keep seeing if that will work. Um, and then it has all four quarters. It does have this if I need to go over, which I think is nice and I kind of forgot about until just now. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm using for that. This is for my degree plan that I have not written out yet. And this is from Peanuts Planner Co. 2, I believe. It's one of her freebies, I think. And this is also from Peanuts Planner Co. I'm using this fold out as a kind of like social media log a little bit to kind of like plan out when I want to. It's mostly for YouTube, for like YouTube videos to plan out when I want to do YouTube stuff and when I want to film, when I want to post, stuff like that. Um, and then these are my content ideas for YouTube on this side and Instagram on this side. I believe these are also from Peanuts Planner Co. This fifth section is for my lists. So I have my wish list like I had in my weeks, except this is from the ghosting pen. And then I have gift ideas, which this is again, like very similar to what I had in my weeks. I had like, um, I don't remember if I called them, I think maybe I did call them gift ideas. I don't remember exactly, but yeah. So I had this in my weeks and then on the back, I have my gift references, so it's the same insert, but I'm using it a little bit differently. I'm ignoring this date spot, and I'm just putting the name, what I got them. And in this section here, I am just putting what the gift was for. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing there. This, again, is from the Ghosting Pen. I believe this is the same exact insert that the birthdays list um, was on. And this is my planner cover inventory list same exact thing that I had in my weeks so I have the date of when I acquired it and then or when I got it and then I put the description and then if I de-stash I will probably just cross it out and then maybe like squeeze in a date somewhere so yep um wedding dashboard again the same insert from the ghosting pen and then this last section is just, no, it's nothing. <laughs> I just have some Filofax inserts here that came with the planner, um, some lined ones, some grid ones, and I don't really plan on actually making this a section in itself. I just have extra note paper. And just because there were six dividers, I just have them. <laughs> and this also came with my planner. And... That is it. My pen is the same pen. It's the Pilot Vanishing Point in the Fine Nib with Diatramentus Archive Ink. I just clip it on. And that is it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to mention or say or talk about, but I don't think so. Um, this is how it fits with my current setup. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Let me know down below if you have any questions or comments or just anything like that. You can also message me on Instagram. You can also follow me on Instagram if you would like to see more content. I will be posting. I don't think I've actually posted a feed post of my pocket planner yet. Um, but that will be coming soon because this is what I'm using now. So, Follow me there if you'd like to see more. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, subscribe and like this video if you liked it. <laughs> and thank you so much for joining me. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.